today just we will recollect whatever we have uh, just what i thought yesterday what we discussed not thought what we have discussed that i will explain to you okay don't worry okay. yes ma'am okay, okay. Uh, just to enjoy this uh, here some video yes, any one of you say is it possible to uh, hear this What do you say we test your logical thinking yes, by solving these 10 kids riddles? Exceptional logical thinking is rare in today's world. Do you think you have it? Yeah. Well, let's find out with a couple of brain teasers. But don't sigh with relief just yet because these riddles aren't as easy as you might think. Before we start, remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. Now you won't miss any of our new videos. Okay, here we go. Riddle number one. Everybody can look at this toy pyramid carefully. In what order will you see the colors from the top view? You have 15 seconds to think about it. Yes, anybody can answer quickly. Answer. Four. Four. Yes. Four. Yes. Four. 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 Okay. Four. Let's see. Yeah. Absolutely. Have you prepared your answer yet? It's not that hard. Look at the pyramid carefully again. From the top view, you'll see the colors in this order: dark blue, light blue, green, yellow, and red. Four is the correct answer. Easy peasy. Yeah. Next. Riddle number two. Yes, is it Let's look at it together. Yeah. The first set of letters forms the word bacon. The second set makes the word cupcake. Ooh, bacon cupcakes. Mmm. And the third one says love. If you chose love as the odd one out, you're wrong. It's actually bacon because cupcake and love both end with an e. We warned you that the riddles weren't easy, so keep an eye out. No, not literally. Don't take your eye out. Ew. Riddle number 3. Let's talk about family now. Imagine a family with two mothers, two daughters, one grandmother and one granddaughter. The question is simple. How many people are in this family? Count them all in 15 seconds. Yes, to find out the answer please. Just for relax. Yeah, four, I think it's four. Four, four. The key to cracking this riddle is remembering that one person isn't always only one thing. For example, someone's daughter is also someone else's granddaughter. In this particular family, there are actually 3 members: a grandmother, her daughter, and her granddaughter. Think about it. The grandmother is the mother to her daughter, while her daughter is the mother to her granddaughter. We guess family ties can be really confusing. How many all said four? Four. Riddle number four. Look at this shape carefully. Yeah, please observe this. Very interesting. Now look at these three shapes that it becomes if you turn it to one side or the other. One of these three is again an odd one out. Can you spot it? Time is ticking. Don't cry baby please hold this please please let us have some thank you thank you if you chose shape c as the odd one out congratulations you've passed this test look at it once again the red square here at the end is missing well shapes a and b are perfectly fine Attention is the key. Riddle number 
two, five, eight, fourteen, and... Yes, come on, quick answer. Can you figure out what the next number should be and why? Time to use your logical thinking again. The correct answer here is 23. Did you guess correctly? The pattern is very simple. You need to add the first number to the next number and add one after that. For example, 2 plus 5 is 7, and 7 plus 1 is 8. Then 5 plus 8 is 13, and 13 plus 1 is 14. And finally, 8 plus 14 is 22, and 22 plus 1 is 23. Eh, just like that. Guys, please mute. Riddle number 6. Look at these four letter combinations. This is also very impressive. Each of them forms the last name of a famous person. Your task is simple. Find out what these last names are and identify the odd one out. Your 15 seconds start now. Well, let's see whether you crack this riddle. The first name is Da Vinci. The second one is Vivaldi. The third one is Van Gogh. And the final one is Rembrandt. If you've answered this part right, you've probably picked Vivaldi as the odd one out, which is right. He's the only composer in this list of painters. So well done. And all, not a painter, he's only the yeah. Riddle number seven. There's a shelf of books ah, in a library. Interesting one. On this shelf, a particular book is fourth from the left and the sixth from the right. Knowing this, can you figure out how many books there are on this shelf? Eleven. Tick tock. Eleven. Eleven? Eleven? Okay, let us see, let us see. Not eleven. Not eleven. Ten. The fourth from the left and the sixth from the right. If your answer is nine, you're right. And should give yourself a pat on the back if your arm's long enough. If the book is the fourth from the left, that means there are three books before it. And if it's the sixth from the right, that means there are five books after it. Five plus three is eight, plus the book itself gives us nine. Nine. Yeah. Riddle number eight. O, T, T, F, F, S, S. Come on, quick. There should be three more letters in this sequence. But what are they? After S. Use these 15 seconds to crack this riddle. Yes, anybody else? The correct answer is much simpler and easier than you probably thought. These numbers represent the first letters of the numbers 1 to 10. Here, we finished on a 7. So the next three letters are E for 8, N for 9, and T for 10. Simply genius! Riddle number 9. Let's throw a bit more math into the mix, shall we? Let's look at these two equations. Given this information, do you have any idea which number should be in the place of this question mark and why? Take your time. Yeah, yeah, very simple. It's four, no? Four, four. 
The numbers in these equations symbolize the number of times the straight lines cross the pictures. If you look carefully at the first one, you'll see nine crossing points, while the last picture shows only four. And here's your answer. We are going to continue factorization. Yesterday, we, I told you how to do factorization uh, by, uh, in the, uh, I mean, in the lab activity. Uh, just I'll show one thing. See, please, all of you see this. I think you can see this one. Here, first, we have to take three types of uh, three colors. One is x squared. Another one is x. Another one is one. One big square, one rectangle and one small square. I'll show the PPT also. We are going to uh, do this one in simple activity first. I'll take simple number that we will do now. I think you all know, but anyway, uh, just one small thing I have to uh, share with you. Uh, factorization, that is one lab activity we are going to do. Please make a note for this also. Aim, materials required. Aim is to factorize the following. Today's concept, to factorize the following. Okay. Materials required. Uh, whatever we are going to use according to our wish. Graph sheet. Sri Devi ma'am, your board is yes, not seen clearly. Please, is could it? you raise it? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Please. No? Ah, little more, little no. more. So that it covers the whole space. Ah, uh, yes, little more down, yeah. down. Ah, uh, I think right. Yeah. Right, right, right. Down, yeah. down. Yes. Okay, thank so you. So what thank you're you. writing, it will be seen. Yeah. Materials thank required, a graph sheet, and then a pair of scissors. Why this gallery is not? You are going to do, guys, pair of scissors, then glue. Then sketch our glitter pens. Then ruler. Whatever we are going to use, that is uh, that we are going to make it as a materials required. Result, I'll give the sum. We are going to do now x squared plus 4x plus 3. Just I will explain with the paper uh, cutting, that is with the graph sheet or with our uh, A4 sheet, we can do that. Anybody knows this or? Yes? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, make a note. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes, ma you all know? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yeah. No, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Aim, uh, materials required. Result. This is the concept of lab activity you have to take down. Then I'll start with uh, clean the top part itself fully, full yeah, 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 so yeah, that you yeah, can yeah. start from the top. Yeah, so yeah. That everybody will be able to see. Yeah, yeah. Just the equation you can write down on top. Yeah. Yes. First equation is first one x squared plus four x plus three. How to teach this one for the children? Yesterday, just I uh, explained how to split the last term. Then only we can get the splitting the middle term. How to do? For that, what and all they need? They have to take a graph sheet. Uh, graph sheet is easy to identify the box. So what we are going to do? We are going to take the graph sheet like this. First, our concept is you have to uh, split this one. Isn't it? Three ones are three. Three plus one, four. That everybody knows. Factorize it. Three and one. Okay. So what we have to do? First, you have to take this this part is one, uh, one square, this big square, this one is x. So that we have to take it as this one, like this. We can draw, uh, uh, ask them to draw. No need to cut the first one, first method. First you have to take x, this one, and plus three. So what we have to do, you have to draw rectangles like this. equally so one two three okay and then down also we are going to do like this 
here this one two see here here this two here one two three here uh, one two three then here plus we can make it as like this plus or any design they can do x plus three then next one x plus x plus three this one this one is x plus one we can ask them to draw with the different color this one is x so we can factorize that as x plus one here this one x plus one and then x plus three then they can easily understand how to factorize after doing this max lab activity if we go to theory that is very useful uh, they can easily understand the concept so this one see here this one is x plus one and this one is x plus three so easily they can identify so three ones are three if you uh, we can show with the theory also x plus one into x plus three how it is correct we have to multiply x squared plus x plus three x plus three that is uh, x squared plus four x plus three we can explain in this way this is one method of lab activity yes got it can i get a yes? you can use different type of colors for this one yeah. for one, one more time yes 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 ma one more time one From more starting time. x okay. plus 3 and okay right first you have to draw uh, how many boxes you have to take 1 2 3 4 boxes 1 2 3 4 so this big square you can take it as x and then one rectangle you have to take it as 1 So one plus one plus one. That is, yeah, three ones are there. So x plus three here, right? Uh, I mean, horizontally, x plus three. Vertically, got, got, x got plus it. one. Yes, right? X plus three yes, and x plus one. So we can make them to draw one color for this big square and another color. I don't have color uh, marker, so I can give some other color for these three. And then another color for this three. Then they can easily identify. Okay. Yes. Now will you do another sum? Can I give one more sum? Will you do it quickly and show to me? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Ready? Ready, guys? Yes. Come on. Do this one yourself. X squared minus six x plus eight. Try, please. Any doubt? Means I'll explain once more. Many ways are there. One method is there. Another method I'll show the PPT. Uh, yes, guys, please. Those who finished uh, quickly, I can make you as a uh, spotlight. I spot. <laughs> however possible we have to take the concept to children in easy way that is our motto so before you teaching the concept uh, first you have to take a lab activity then only they can get interest in maths so nobody say uh, what is your max mark nobody can ask yeah uh, i think ramya ma'am completed yes one minute one minute one minute ramya ma'am No, no. Check it out and spotlight. Me. <laughs> why, why, why? 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 No problem. No problem. Here we are not. Uh... I, I, yeah, I think so. No right. problem, ma'am. Whatever you are doing, correct only. <laughs> okay. Uh... Because I was confused with the negative sign, ma'am. Whether negative sign also oh. we have to same thing. Yeah, see, Amya's uh, ma'am, uh, x minus two and x minus four. Yes, absolutely correct, ma'am. Absolutely yeah. correct. And the remaining part you can give some other color. Okay, oh, green you have used. Uh, yeah, we can use some other. Color. Yeah, yeah. Okay, give me a second. Yeah. Yeah, very good. This is uh, really, uh, I'm very happy. You all are doing enthusiastically. Very nice. 
yes Thank good you, yes 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 ma'am jay lakshmi ma'am are you happy with this activity yes ma'am jay lakshmi ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes vandana venda ma'am venda venda ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yeah yeah okay like this uh, how to do this one x squared minus 6x uh, 8 how will you split it here negative sign is there so how can you split it uh, uh, any minus 4 x minus 4 x minus 2 we we know very well because uh, we are teaching that's why we know how to split 8 as minus 4 uh, minus 4 minus 2 we know thoroughly minus 4 minus 2 minus 6 how will you take it to children how will you ask your children to uh, draw the diagram how can you say for that what they need what concept we have to tell integers ma integers yes very good if they know integers then only they have to practice keep on practice suppose plus 4 plus 2 that is the plus 8 Plus eight is coming, but if they add or multiply, they won't get minus six. So we should insist them to write minus four, minus two vertically. Vertically, if you add, if the signs are same, you can get minus six. If the signs are different, you have to subtract it. Okay, this is the concept. So after that, we can make them to draw uh, with, by using graph sheet. If you ask children to do this, everybody can participate. enthusiastically like us see here as a grown up we are doing like that they can also do see they have to take this as x minus 2 first they have to split it um, x that is a 2 minus 2 minus 4 that is plus 8 then minus 6 so here they will get this one here 2 and then here 1 2 1 2 3 Three, four. Yes, one, two, three, four. So how will you make it as to write x minus two here on the top? X minus four. Okay, if we multiply x minus two and x minus four, we will get the expression, this equation, quadratic equation, x square minus six x plus eight. Yes. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Ramya, ma'am, got it. Got the point. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What I was yeah. thinking, ma'am. Where whether yes. both are positive factors and here we are having negative factors. If one a one among them is positive and negative means that the diagram will be similar like this only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. that's great. Okay. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Thank Just you. Just we are coloring and uh, showing that. Ah, oh, okay. Change the color. Yeah. yeah. Change the color. Okay. That right. Is. Good. Yes. Thank you. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, shall I give one more uh, question for you? Activity that is assignment x squared minus four x minus twelve. You can do colorfully with bindis or uh, star stickers. Anything you can upload in our group. Then I'll be happy. Okay. Yes. Thank you, ma'am. Next one fraction. Fraction seventh standard concept multiplication. I am going to take same aim materials required. Uh, result that and all same. So what problem will arise in multiplication? Suppose if I take one by two into one by four, immediately children will do two uh, by eight. This is the problem. Immediately they will add. Ma'am is laughing. I think yeah, she had many experiences. Uh, one one plus one two, four plus two. Sometimes they will put six also. They never six, multiply. Six. Okay, this is the answer, ma'am. I did correctly only. Why you are putting wrong? Definitely they will ask. In the same way, distributive property. I want to cover six hundred question also. Ah, uh, two into five plus seven means what they will do? Yeah, a five plus two, a five into two they will put. After that, they totally they forgot and put seven. So the answer will be ten plus seven, seventeen. My answer is correct. You only put wrong like that. They will bring the answer paper. Isn't it? This is our yes, nice yes. experience. So this and all we have to eradicate. For this also distributive property also we have one activity nice activity with the graph sheets it's also quite interesting. Now I'll start with the this one how to do this multiplication for this also we we are going to use graph sheet. 
so in this first we have to uh, the same way you have to start writing a materials required concept fraction multiplication of fraction that is the heading multiplication of fraction for this they can use same colors crayons or sketch pen or bindis or stone or star stickers anything their creativity 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 how to do this one for in this which is greater denominator 4 is the greater denominator so you can show it with the folding also i'll show it now with the paper folding one minute yeah you can take two uh, papers like this first you have to take the bigger denominator and fold it into four parts uh, immediately what they will do denominator is four so i am going to take it as four parts divide into four parts this two then i am going to divide fold it like this see you can get four parts 1 2 3 4 part will make them to paste it here uh, one minute Am I visible, guys? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So first, to make them to first uh, wrong. Uh, I mean, uh, what I have to say, hard to easy. That we will do. Go first. We will make them to draw lines. Just trial and error method. One, two, three, four parts. Next, we have to make them to uh, split into two parts. So here, two parts. Here, four. Here, two. is it possible to arrange these two how it is uh, here out of four one here out of uh, sorry here out of two one part here out of four one part first they will make them to see whether this is equal or correct we should get equal part 1 2 3 4 5 6 only there whatever they have done mistake same thing coming in the theory so that's why we should eradicate that one rectify that mistake so what we have to say first instead of uh, taking uh, four two separately we have to make them to take a uh, large number four parts first ask them to draw they have to take four parts first 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 4 part they have to divide it and then out of four how many parts they have to shade one part that you have to make them with one color and then the same thing same four parts they have to divide with two parts out of two they have to first vertically they shade it next one they will ask them to shade out of two parts in this when we see this uh, lines and all they will get confusion so for that they have to Uh, focus uh, concentrate uh, more in this out of four one immediately they will think one two three four out of four one part not like that one uh, out of four means this full rectangles one two three four that parts we have to show it clearly so for that one color suppose if it is green color first uh, shade ask them to shade one part fully and then the same four parts divided into two out of two they have to shade one that is like this one part means like this they will get so here some other color you can make it as red anyone can do it please do along with me then show it then I'm doing bad uh, yeah bad green and red red combination this one this part here both the uh, colors um, together that is the answer so total parts how many now you ask them to count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 <laughs> out of eight part you have to ask the children in which part both the colors are uh, mingled together in only one part out of eight one box only both the colors uh, getting coincides i mean coincide so out of this one now your answer is correct 1 by 2 into 1 by 4 One by two of one by four is one by eight. Like that, we can uh, show to them. 
is it yeah, okay yeah, is it okay this is a frag yes beautiful that's what ma'am has done that is correct yes uh, papati ma'am please show it yeah uh, so uh, instead of doing uh, this in a a4 sheet we can do it in uh, uh, graph sheet also graph sheet le bindis or stickers na the line must be for a seventh standard no they don't know how to draw line proper equal equally they have to divide so we can okay. use graph sheets and we can do many sums like sure. yes beautiful ma'am mahalakshmi ma'am beautiful yes yes ah yes ma'am good good nice ma'am nice to see all these things thank you so much yes so this is a fraction multiplication uh, like that we can use fraction addition subtraction everything like fraction addition of like fraction also in that also they will do mistake addition of unlike fraction they will do mistake suppose if i have 3 by 5 plus 2 by 7 means immediately they will put 5 by 12 well, this is also wrong for that they have to do theoretically cross multiply and take the uh, parts and then do that we have to insist them okay yes next uh, shall i any queries anything else excuse me yes yes ma'am ma'am suppose this question 1 by 2 into 1 ah. by 4 instead you have 1 by 2 multiplied by 1 by 5 1 by 5 yes 1 by 2 into 1 by 5 okay shall we do it now yes so which is greater Which one is greater? You have to now take. Now five is the denominator. Five is a greater. greater. So you have to draw a square box and take one. Oh, we must two, divide it into five three, parts. Three, four. Right. One, two, three, four, okay. five parts. That's all. Okay. okay. In that remaining, okay. uh, next to what two? The two. same five. Two. You have to divide into two parts. Two First, parts. you have to shade it. Out of five, how many you have to shade? One. one you one have to shade. shade. So one full part you have to shade with one color. Okay, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, I post it in the group, ma'am. And then yes, one by two, it. one by two, you have to shade it like this. Then, or even a dot, put a vehicle or anything. In that, where both the colors that you have to highlight it, both the colors mingled together, that you have to highlight and show. So the answer is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten. Total yes. boxes are ten. Out of yes, ten, one, one. Yeah, thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome. Yes. Any queries? This is easy way of multiplication to understand. Yes. Govind sir. Yes. Super sir. Nice. Uh, ma'am, highlight me, that ma answer. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Ah, uh, ma'am, can we yeah. use this method? Uh, On I mean, ah, uh, addition on integers. Yeah, addition of integers. Oh, sorry, sorry, fractions on addition. addition. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Why not? We will do it now. Yeah, huh? I'll show it. Addition no, of integers. No, ma'am, it's clear. Ma'am. Addition of yeah, yes, ma'am. Is it working? Yes. Addition. You can use this way. Suppose if I have three by five plus ah uh, seven uh, by five equal fraction, like fraction. First, we will start. How to take three by five? Ask them to draw one rectangle like this. Ask them to divide into equal parts. One, two, three, four, five plus. Easy way. This is for sixth standard, not for seventh standard. One, two, three, three. So to avoid this uh, equal parts, when we draw, we have to measure it. So instead of that, we can use uh, graph sheet. Out of five, we can use three uh, boxes. So. you can make them uh, children will do beautifully first okay. they will draw like this out of five three boxes they will do color combination also nice so this is 3 by 5 plus uh, 7 by 5 7 by 5 not possible no so i have to take it as 2 by 5 sorry 1 2 2 by 5 now next we have to ask them to put together then immediately they will draw 10 boxes that is wrong Yes, am I right? No need to take ten boxes. Here denominators are same, so we can write denominator as a five. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. So out of five, how many boxes? 
one two three here one two so totally mm. five five out of five so the we will get the whole box so five by five that is nothing but one that we can show them show to them right okay ma'am yes yes so addition subtraction everything we can do with the help of this graph sheet and a four sheet this is the for way different of different denominators ma'am for different denominators ma'am yes i'll do it now different denominators unlike fraction of uh, addition right yes ma'am yeah yeah i'll take this sum one minute addition of unlike fraction yes i take down the uh, question i will give one minute even perimeter area everything we will do it in the graph sheet Mm. Addition of unlike fraction. I'll take the question one by four plus three by eight. How will you do this one? One by four plus three by eight. For this only thing, we have to make them to cross multiply and take the boxes. Theoretically, we can do eight boxes are thirty two. No, that you can take it as thirty two boxes. Eight boxes <laughs> like this. Ah, uh, vertically eight. You can ask them to take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then horizontally four. One, two, three. So totally eight into four. How much? That also we can show it. Length is a. Uh, I mean length eight breadth four eight four sa thirty two. Thirty two is the uh, LCM. So according to LCM, we can make them to do. Out of eight boxes, three boxes they have to do. They have to shade it. Out of four, they have to shade one box. So wherever the both the boxes mingle, that is the answer, right? Yes. Any doubt? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just you have to take the greater uh, denominator, and then with the folding also we can do. You can take the ask them to uh, take one rectangle paper, and then ask them to fold. Folding la kuda they can use how many foldings? Uh, if we do two foldings na evlo varo, three foldings na how many parts will get? Four foldings like that we can show them. Show to them. Yes. Any queries? Yes. Okay, next one. Uh, I'll show one another activity that is identity uh, for A standard. Uh, how to make identity? I'll show it now. That is also a very interesting one. I'll show the picture. Yeah, see here. Ah, uh, this is a yeah. Algebraic identity. C A plus B the whole square. How to do? First, you have to take one ah uh, large square. That is our wish. That is six uh, plus four ten centimeter here, ten centimeter here. So that I'll show it now. Ah. Uh, Our aim is to verify the algebraic identity a plus b the whole square. A plus b the uh, this is uh, in our lab materials available. With the materials we can show them. We will ask them to do it. A plus b the whole square. Uh, a squared plus two ab plus b square. How it comes? I know only already you have learned like that. We can say uh, area of uh, square also. Uh, in algebra, uh, one point I wanted to say, not related to that. Uh, algebra, na they all getting fear. No, that we can rectify it. How to means? Uh, first, we have to ask the children what is area of a square. 
they will say they will mem they already memorized area of a square s into s perimeter of a square uh, 4 into s then how do you know 4 into s s is a variable so unknowingly you have learned that algebra so no need to worry about algebra algebra theriyave padichirkinga what is the area of uh, i mean perimeter of a rectangle they will say 2 into l plus b this is called algebraic expression that's all 2 into l plus b already you have learned and then uh, l into b uh, what is that l into b area of a rectangle what is area of a rectangle all children know area of a rectangle l into b so what is l what is b this is the concept of sixth standard they, when they when we introduce algebra uh, without uh, getting fear we will make them to understand first we will ask a question ask raise questions many questions like this they all should say so that time we can introduce this is algebra so unknowingly you have learnt in fourth and fifth standard itself so no need to worry like that we can start so a plus b the whole squared a squared plus 2ab plus b squared how to do first you have to take one big square like this this uh, centimeter may be uh, 10 10 centimeter here here 10 centimeter how can you split it first you take this as 6 centimeter see here this one is 6 here 6 here 6 uh, for this material we have in the school lab materials available if you don't have please uh, buy it and keep it ready we have materials with the help of this materials they we will make the children to do it in the lab here 4 and then here 4 how it is possible a square a square is 6 suppose if i take the number 6 plus 4 the whole square i can prove with the help of this diagram so we will make them to cut and paste 6 squared first so 6 square is 36 6 6 are 36 this one 6 4 are here what if they will get this one is a 4 centimeter uh, this one is a 4 centimeter this is 6 squared plus 2 into 6 into 4 plus 4 square. The same concept we can use for a plus b the whole square. This is a squared. This one is ab. This also ab. This one is b squared. This is the main concept. With, uh, with the algebraic uh, number, I mean uh, alphabets, a squared, 2ab plus b squared. So we have to make them to paste like this a square ab here 2 ab b square the same concept we are going to use for uh, numbers how 6 squared so first one is 6 squared again they are both we can make them to do this one is a squared this one is ab that is 6 squared here ab ab is 2 ab that is 6 into 4 here 6 into 4 here 6 into 4 then here 4 square like this we can make them to do so without any confusion they can learn okay yes any other any queries in this yes no ma'am okay. no ma'am yeah yeah thank no. you So many activities we have uh, to enjoy in the maths lab. So we can take the children to maths lab and uh, try to uh, do playway method. No need to uh, show all the theory part directly. That is very tough to understand. Some children are slow learners. They are not able to understand immediately. So better playway method is very interesting and we can uh, make the classroom joyful. That is our motto. Uh, no need to give pressure to them. Every uh, year, uh, max exam, after max exam, all the children get unhappy. Ma'am, it is very tough. Algebraic identity only, I don't know. That is one method to learn formula also. Formula, how to uh, 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 memorize the formula, TSA, LSA, and uh, area of a circle, area of a perimeter, circumference of a circle, everything. There is also one method. Easily, we can make them to memorize that I will uh, teach you tomorrow. Teach, uh, teach you tomorrow, and then uh, and divisibility test for sixth standard. You can write it, uh, ask them to write their father's phone number and mother's phone number, ask them to find out 
divisible by 9, divisible by uh, 11. So these three divisibility tests are very important, 3, 6, and 9. So we will ask, them to ask the children to write their uh, father's phone number, mother's phone number, and make them to find out the divisibility test of your phone number, my father's phone number. Appa solala, appa appa tapa ke pa. Phone number appa, unga phone number divisible agale. Nine alle divisible agale, twelve, eleven alle divisible agale. Like that, they can share the views with their parents also, grandparents, grandma. And then uh, you can write many things on the board, or you can stick it uh, like uh, ten things and remove it. Ask them to observe. That is memory game and all. You have to uh, take all the, uh, or rub all the diagrams, whatever you want. 10 diagrams you can draw and remove it. Ask them to write it in the paper. So how many objects they can memorize in their mind. That and all focus the game to understand maths easily. To max concept easy of Purina, this and all we have to. In our days, nobody taught all these things. So just we memorized, that's all. Whatever they are telling, two ones are two, two twos are four, two threes are six. Without knowing anything. And then cup also, with the cup also, we can make them to play. Rods, we have available uh, match, I mean, a stick, PVC stick in our lab. So two cups, you can, three uh, cups, two cups, you can take. Two tables means you can ask them to put it, uh, that is one, oh, my pen is not writing. Dry, pen, the ink dry eyes. You can uh, make them to draw cups. This one, cups you have to draw. And then, uh, on that, you can put, ask them to uh, put one, one twos are two, one threes are three, like that we will make the children to play games. Uh, fifth standard, we can make them to play uh, by using PVC pipe and uh, small uh, rods available in the math lab. We have all that things. With the help of that, we can use. And then uh, measurement, I want to share this also. How to uh, do measurement and mensuration? There are no six standards, seven standards. We'll bring the children to max lab. And then that weighing machine is there. Capacity measures is there. So you can, in the month of April, maybe we used to cover that portion. So what you have to do, bring the children to max lab, take two buckets of water, call one one boy, and then take 50 uh, ml of water. You make it as 100. 100 means they will take two capacity. That is 100 uh, ml capacity measures are there, 50 ml is there. So ask them to pour 100 ml by 50. Then sometimes some slow learners, they will put, uh, they will pour three times. That you can rectify their mistake, not like this. You are going to see the capacity measures, what they have. Nowadays, we are not using everything packet only, but they should know uh, 50 ml, uh, two times 100, three times 150. Suppose if it is 500, means how many times you can pour that uh, 50 ml? Like that, we have to ask and make them to form a line with the water. They all enjoyed water to play in the water. So everybody can participate in that nicely. That is one uh, way of method to uh, start mensuration. Like that, the perimeter and area. In the same way, uh, standard, they can use a graph sheet. And uh, area, they can uh, draw something inside. They have to draw the diagram like this. Uh, cut the graph sheet. Uh, here, 5 centimeter. Here, 3 centimeter. What is the perimeter of this rectangle? Means without unknowingly, they can use. Perimeter means boundary. Only fencing. We make them to draw uh, this uh, diagram. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. The perimeter of this diagram is perimeter is equal to 16 centimeter. Area, how will you find out? So, uh, till now, all 8 standard boy doing mistake in area and perimeter. That we know. So, area means inside. Perimeter means outside. So, we have to fill the inside by tree or something. Or they can use any stickers and bindis. This is for... Six standard. Six standard level, we can use this. So like this, a perimeter area, we can show in the lab. So first, outside fencing. So inside the tree, uh, animals will go inside. So eradicate that animals so, uh, inside. So we have to put fencing outside. That is the perimeter. 
and then inside whatever the how many trees you planted 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 yes 15 square centimeter like this we can show the difference of perimeter and area by using graph sheets or a4 sheet that is your base those who are good in drawing boxes uh, properly they can use a4 sheet others can use graph sheet graph sheet is better for uh, all these things okay